but you could hear every single thing that was happening and man it, if it had been as sloppy as some other things were even though I liked them let's say Louie Louie we can pick on Louie Louie um, it really would have been a train wreck um, so I think that's one of the reasons perhaps it's a selfish musician reason I don't know if other people would notice that sort of thing um, the other thing that I've kind of alluded to without realizing it was that the Ventures picked really interesting songs, songs with melodies, you know. Um, I mean, a lot of instrumentals basically, and I did that especially in those days too, you'd, you'd say, okay, play a 12-bar blues in E, and everybody would just kind of hit the chords, and there wouldn't be any lead at all. Therefore, it, it sounded cool in your garage, but it wasn't really very interesting as a record on the radio. The Ventures uh, had a lot of songs that had melody. Uh, some of their slower songs, um, I believe that's, some of them are giant hits in Japan. And um, it's one of the, I think, ingredients that made them, you know, godlike in Japan. Um, so I guess, I guess that sense of melody being there I know that of the first three albums, you, you may find this surprising, but the third one, the one called Another Smash, that's really my favorite. 